I would like everyone to please stand for the singing of the American and Lithuanian national anthems and please remain standing for the invocation. Uh, Father Tom, if you would like to do that, okay, after the anthems. <laughs> Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Now we'd like to please remain standing as Father Tom gives our benediction. I've decided to do this in English. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we gather in your name, in your presence, and in your love, we give thanks for the multitude of gifts that you bestowed upon us as a community, as a people of faith, and as your children. We ask you, Lord, to bless this gathering, those who have prepared our meal, and in a special way we keep in mind those who in this cold weather go without shelter and food. We ask you, Lord, to send your love upon them through friends, through strangers alike, that they may know your love as well. We ask you, Lord, to bless us in your name and in your service. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bon appetit. Thank you. All right, and I think we will um, ask the dancers to uh, head on through the meal line so that they can eat and uh, get dressed and ready for uh, our uh, program in a few minutes. So in an effort to keep the evening moving along, uh, I think I'd like to introduce uh, myself first, for those of you who don't know who I am. Uh, I'm Marita Bisenkauskas, and I'm president of Council One of the Knights of Lithuania. And on behalf of uh, Council One, I want to thank all of you uh, for coming today. And I would li like to thank all members of our Knights of Lithuania Council One for their amazing efforts for today. Uh, it was truly a group effort. Uh, Valerie. Uh, Dillis was in charge of getting the desserts together, so uh, she, she elicited the help of all of her sisters and friends, right? Uh, Anthony Grine and his beautiful wife and daughter and his kitchen crew prepared this wonderful food. 
Uh, Susan Troutman helped oversee the making of these beautiful, wonderful baskets. Uh, and all of the items were generously donated by the members of the Knights of Lithuania Council One. So thank you for being in charge of that. I want to also thank John and Shirley for coordinating all of this uh, stuff here in the church and in the church hall. So I want to thank them very, very much. I thank the members of St. Michael's Parish for being so kind in, and attentive. And now I would like to introduce Thomas, the leader of the oldest Lithuanian folk dance group in the United States. Yes. It's, yes, it's been here over 75 years, and as a matter of fact, my mother Veronica and Franny Bamilla and probably Bob Dillis were part of the original, oh, Bob says no? Well, okay, so Francis and my mom were actually part of the very first dance group when it was established, so uh, there's a long history, and it was started by Ona Ivashkina. So without further ado, Thomas. Good evening, everybody. Uh, just give you guys a little bit of an overview of what we'll be dancing with you tonight. But first, I have to correct two things that Manita said. Um, Lithuanian Folk Dance Group of Boston Sambudis is the oldest Lithuanian folk dance group in the world. So we are very excited to be here tonight. Um, today, you'll be seeing our adult group. We have um, dancers from age 6 to more or less 86 dancing any given year. So. Um, in Boston, kids go to the Lithuanian Saturday School, grow up dancing. In high school, they join our student group. Same thing in college. We've been having an adult group who dances as well. And then we even have, when there's a folk dance festival, a veterans group that gets together for people who, even after 50, 60 years, just can't give up the dancing shoes, which we all know and love. Um, secondly, we actually just hit 80 years. So believe it or not, we've, we've passed our 75 and are into our, 80, our, our um, 80 at the 81st year this year. Um, and we're very happy to be here to perform for you tonight. We'll be performing a couple dances. Uh, I'll tell you about the first one, um, and then about the next couple in a few minutes. Uh, the very first dance we'll do for you is called Kubelinis. Uh, it is a dance about the traditional springtime planting um, of the seeds. So the, you'll see the dancers um, bring in the seeds, plant them at points of time, dance around um, the basket, of, the imaginary basket of, of um, crops that they're planting. So. Without further ado, our very first dance, Kobelinis. Žemė, žemė visą dieną tavo vaisiais gyvenu, o vėl vaiskia mėnė sieną vėl kiton dienon einu. Oh, oh, oh. 
The second dance that we are going to dance for you this evening is called Spiachos Kadrili. So this will be your one Lithuanian vocabulary word quiz of the night. Does anyone know what a spiachos is? A spiachos. Spiachos is a swarm, like a swarm of bees. So in this dance, it's a quadrille style dance in four parts, and you'll see the dancers dancing and weaving back and forth almost like a swarm of bees. And that'll be quickly followed by Shenmu Polka, a fun fast polka. Hope you enjoy them.
Thank you very much. Uh, for the last dance we have for you, we'll give the dancers one minute to breathe, and I'll just say that we very much enjoyed being here this evening. Uh, if you want to see some more Lithuanian folk dancing, if you want to see some more of all kinds of folk dancing, uh, the New England Folk Festival is taking place in about a month. Uh, it is, I think, the second weekend of April, but take a look online, look, search for New England Folk Festival or NEFA, and you will find all that information if you show up one of the days. Um, Samaris will be there all weekend serving delicious Lithuanian food. So if you enjoyed what you had tonight and can't wait to get some more and don't want to make it yourself like none of us often do, that's uh, one way to come and get some more, all right? So uh, for our last dance, uh, it is called Upvalainis. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again. And uh, we'll hopefully see you all soon. dancing too often. And I know there's another folk dance festival coming up next next summer? Uh, 2020. 2020 in Philadelphia. So if all of you want to plan, it's going to be in Philadelphia. And so you'll see probably about a thousand dancers. It'll be quite an amazing thing. <laughs> 